RC Maniacs. Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're taking a closer look at the HBX Hailstorm for high boxing. So really nice little 118 scale basher, a brushed basher, but it's a really durable and fun little uh, basher for sure. I've had quite a few um, HBX or high boxing trucks earlier and, um, and they, they do keep a really good quality, easy to find spare parts, really nice budget trucks. So I really like them. And this particular one comes with this transmitter really cheap basic transmitter and uh, yeah plastic decent grip got uh, high and low speed options some trimming and yeah fully proportional of course decent range in this one as well so yeah this is the transmitter and this of course comes without stickers so you have to if you want to fit the uh, headlight stickers and uh, text and stuff. You have to do it by yourself, but uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool. Also have to uh, fit the rear wing with two screws. And of course, they provide you with a Phillips screwdriver, two 850 milliamp batteries, ex uh, a set of extra body pins, and uh, a USB charger. So this is what it looks like underneath. Got the brushed 380 sized motor, decent power and speed to it. Also got headlights, LEDs in the front, and the possibility to add more LEDs. Got friction shocks. Uh, I know there that there are uh, oil shocks available as upgrades. I've done it to my Rampage, which is basically the same platform, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. And that makes a huge difference. But otherwise, solid components, all in one ESC and receiver. However, we got the free wire servo in this one, which is really nice. Easy to upgrade, but it's a it's a really solid servo. Metal gears in that as well. So yeah, it's not bad. So we've got CVDs in the front, metal CVDs, and we've got metal dog bones in the rear. Open diffs, of course. Almost standard in these, I think. You can see I've driven this. And it handles surprisingly well in like tall grass and stuff. Solid little basher for sure. Battery compartment. And we've got the battery right here. Free wire servo, as I mentioned. The wires running up to the LEDs and the extra outlet there. Pretty sized brush motor with a heat sink on it. Got the friction shocks which are threaded. Not sure how much difference this makes on a friction shock of this type, but they are threaded. Some uh, decent rubber compound. The wheels or rims are attached with this screw, both hex and Phillips. And we've got a 12 millimeter hex in the middle, which is nice if you want to Switch to some other kind of wheels on this. And I also really like these body pins with a little tab for easy removal. And they are easy to keep tabs on <laughs> as well. So it's a nice little feature. So yeah, that's just a quick look at what's hiding underneath the body on this one. And yeah, I'm going to take this outside do a couple speed runs, see what speed we get out of this. And um, it's a decent speed. I won't sp um, spoil it, but it's a decent speed. And um, do some light bashing with it. I took it to my usual place with all the trees and the loose surface and the roots and stuff. So it's a fun little place to bash around one of these. And yeah, enjoy the footage. First up, some speed runs. And uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think. And uh, make sure to subscribe. So it's raining a little bit, but I'll strap the GPS to the roof. And yeah, still possible to do a quick little speed run. 
it's a bit wet, but it's not super fast, so it's not that big of an issue. I'm going to do a couple of passes and then. Uh, whoa! Pretty nice range on this transmitter. I've tried trucks in a similar size where they got out of range on that little distance there. So let's see here. 25 kilometers per hour, not bad. And of course we've got normal mode and the stock lipo in there. I don't know what the advertised box speed is. So but this is about what I was expecting. 2530. We're going to see if we get more speed now. Still 25. Yeah, it's a bit too slippery on the uh, plastic ramp because of the rain, fortunately. But yeah, got a nice little jump there. Feels fairly stable in the air. Jumps really nice, actually. And it handles the um, whoa, the wet grass quite well as well, even though it's such a small scale. Quite a nice little basher actually. Looks pretty cool. Some oil shocks on this and I think it would be really really nice. I've got the, uh, I think it's called the Rampage since before and I've got some oil shocks on that one. And yeah, night and day once those got fitted.